All right, guys, we're rocking. We're on to lab number three. Next one is going to make use of a double-acting cylinder. A double-acting cylinder looks like this, where it has one port and a second port. This port at the back is going to allow air to go in and extend that cylinder. When we put air into this port, it's going to push back on this valve and allow that to retract. Okay, so extend and retract. It's a double-acting cylinder. All right, again, you can see here that when air goes in, it's going to extend this cylinder, and when air goes into the other port, it's going to cause this guy to retract. So we're going to use a, make use of the double-acting cylinder, and it says that the double-acting cylinder is going to extend when the black push button is pushed, and the cylinder is to remain in the extended position until the red push button is pressed. Once the red push button is pressed, the cylinder is going to retract. All right, so black is going to extend, red is going to retract, uh, but there's an issue with this circuit. What's the disadvantage? Sorry, what's the disadvantage of this circuit? So it's going to work, but there's going to be uh, some issues to this guy. So let's bring up the fluid sim and let's build it up. So black is to extend and red is to retract. All right. So now we need all the different bits and pieces here. Okay. So lab number three. Let's see. Let's drop in our compressed air supply. Uh, we need a double acting cylinder, so let's grab this guy. Now one thing to notice is that this double acting cylinder is opposite of the way that it's mounted on our SMC boards. If I want to change this and rotate it uh, 180 degrees, watch what happens. It puts the ports on top, which is really annoying. I just wanted to have it to point in the other direction, but this simulator does not allow us to do that. So just keep in mind that um, our double acting cylinders point in the opposite direction. Okay, so we need a double acting cylinder, we've got our air supply, and then we need to have two, three, two, normally closed push buttons. So we'll drop this guy in. If we need to copy this guy, we can copy and paste him. There we go. Okay, if you need a, to copy larger portions, you can grab both of them and copy and move them around. You can also uh, reconfigure these guys in that you can move both, course, both switches around if you need to, to make a little bit more room. Excellent. Okay, so now we've got everything in place and we just need to connect everything up. So this guy is going to go and feed my first 3-2 push button. And then this guy, I'd like to bring it down, but then it says that I'm not allowed to connect up here. But if I just hover above this line right here until it's green, then I'll be able to hook into that same port. So this dot right here would denote a T. And let's see, we need one to have this extend and one have this retract. Excellent. Everything's good. We'll hit the play button. And it, let's see. If we hit this, it should extend. Excellent. And hit this, it's going to retract. Beauty. Now remember that the air has to exhaust out, so when we extend it, the air that was in this cylinder is able to come down here, go down from two, and exhaust out of three. And again, if I push this guy, then all of a sudden that air is going to uh, go up cause this to retract and any air that was in the cylinder is going to go back and exhaust from two to three. Okay, there are springs on each of these push buttons so when we let them go they'll go back to their initial position. But there are no springs in the double acting cylinder. So if this was the last state that you left it in it will stay there until next class. If this was the last state then it will stay in that position until next class. Alright guys, let's stop there and let's take a look at how to wire this guy up in the lab. All right, lab number three, guys. We need to have this double acting cylinder extend when the black is pressed and then retract when the red is pressed. Okay, so extend when the black is pressed. So I'm gonna have the output from this guy go to the extend port of my double acting cylinder. I'm gonna have the red is the retract. Okay, carefully, you gotta make sure that it's actually in there. Sometimes it's just, uh, Feels like it's seated, but it hasn't. Just have to give it another quick push. That guy is going to go to my retract input on this double acting cylinder. Okay, there we go. And then I just have to feed these guys with some air. So I can make use of uh, a T here where I can have one air supply coming in and then T off to there. But I got all kinds of ports here 
on my manifold. So I'm going to use this guy and feed the first push button. We have another tube. And go for the manifold. One thing I haven't mentioned in the previous videos is that each of these guys are all cut to basically the same length. That way we can go to any of the components on the board. So it is a little bit messy when you've got all these tubes going everywhere, but that way we won't, we won't have to cut any new tubes for any of the, the labs that we're doing. We can reach any of the components. All right, turn this guy on. And now this guy is going to extend ah, yes. the cylinder. And this guy is going to retract. There we go. Okay, one thing to notice though is that if I just tap this guy, it doesn't go all the way. I have to keep pushing this in order for it to extend all the way. If I hit this guy, it only goes halfway. I have to keep pressing it to retract. So there's a better way to do this. We can incorporate one of these five tubes and then as soon as I trigger the, the push button, then it's going to go to that position. You can see here that I can move this double action cylinder wherever I want. Once we make use of the five tube, then it'll be maintained so that I just have to tap the push button and then it'll go all the way. With this one, it does work, but obviously there's no way that we could have a load connected up to this double action cylinder. Okay, basic circuit. We have power going into one push button, extends. Power going to the other push button, retracts. But there's obviously some limitations that we can make this circuit a lot better in the next few laps.